from Wednesday. Mr. Speaker, I'm at once sad and happy today. I'm sad because I'm not coming back to the Green Chambers. I really do miss coming back. I'm sad because I'm going to miss a lot of friends. And I won't be lying if I say that maybe some for life we will never see again. The reality of life. I miss the brotherhood. I miss the mischief from, from my former neighbors, uh, Femi Badabi Amila and his deputy, uh, Idris Wase. I've had a lot of mischief from them. As, as early as today, Femi did the unthinkable of removing my cap. But the Christian that I am, I forgive him. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I said I'm also happy. I'm happy because I'm moving over to the Red Chambers. And for those who are going to come back to the Green Chambers, I'm sure we'll still be interacting as brothers and as colleagues here. Mr. Speaker, I'm speaking on behalf of the North Central. The North Central has 51 members on the floor. It's a region that has been devastated by unmitigated violence. And I do hope that in the Ninth Assembly, since today in Nigeria, development come through, comes through uh, Development Commission, the North Central too will have its own Development Commission in order to bring faster development to the region. I just pray, and since I'm going to be part of the National Assembly, either way, I think that will be pursued. Mr. Speaker, I want to appreciate you personally and your leadership. When we came back in, uh, in the early day, I mean, in the yeah, early times of this eighth assembly, I think the first week of our inauguration, why other members were anxious about the committees that were going, they were going to chair, you called me aside and said it would be a privilege if I would, if I, if I would serve as chairman of rules and business. Okay. I, I don't think there can be any better or greater compliment to a member than that. Rules and business is a committee that you can easily make enemies. Because in the early days, when every member was, especially the new members, were anxious to make their mark, there was so much pressure on that office. I thank God that I'm leaving that office, and I tried as much as possible before I left that office to make up with people I may have offended in the course of duty. Mr. Speaker, I think that this House has performed wonderfully well, as has been said before. Unprecedented number of bills processed, unprecedented number of bills passed. My only regret is that some of the very important bills that were passed were rejected by the presidency on very flimsy excuses, because some of the excuses that they gave, we returned and corrected them and took it back. They were still not signed into law. I just hope that that will not be the case in the Ninth Assembly. Mr. Speaker, I'm leaving this house a satisfied man. Because in the 12 years that I stayed here, I've made friends, and I've made friends. And I think those are friendships that will continue for life. I thank you and I thank everybody here for being part of a big family that I was also part of. Thank you very much.